guys, today we're going to be taking a look at a VGA cooler from Arctic. Now this is the Accelero Extreme Plus, which is designed for high-end graphics card solutions. And uh, this is available for the following models. Obviously this is an aftermarket cooler, and it's going to replace the stock cooler on your graphics card. Now, the stock cooler isn't always the most efficient way to cool your GPU. It can present you with quite high temperatures, and that in itself can prevent you from uh, the likes of overclocking because of the temperatures on the load. So uh, there's also the aspect of sound. Now the stock cooler can be quite loud uh, on particular cards. You know, you launch your favourite game, and uh, you know because it's on auto fan, it can ramp right up and it can be quite disruptive. So this Arctic cooler hopes to present you with a dual application of being quiet and also being quite efficient. So this particular cooler, if you can see, it has five heat pipes. It has 84 fins on the heat sink and it has a combination of three 92 millimeter fans. So today I'm going to be installing that on an NVIDIA GTX 480. So this is the Zotac GTX 480 Amp Edition. So this is already overclocked. Uh, it's pre-overclocked and it's also got an aftermarket cooler on it and this is the Zalman VF3000. So this is already quite an efficient cooler. Uh, you know, when I'm loading this, it typically doesn't get any higher than sort of 65 centigrade. So uh, it's a very efficient cooler. So it should be quite interesting to see this versus the uh, the Arctic and to see, you know, which one comes out as the victor. So I'll install that on the card and uh, First of all, well, first of all, what I'll do is I'll open the box, show you what's inside, and then we'll get installing it. Okay, so down to business. We've got the, uh, the Extreme Plus in a clear container, as you've already seen. Over the back, we've got the a lot of information. Um, in the bottom corner there, we've got the example on a HD5870, just to show you what the sort of performance that you can get out of it. And uh should just be able to make that out on the camera. And then obviously all the models that I listed that are compatible with this Accelero Extreme Plus. And each of those models is put into a certain category and that's a an accessory set basically. So each set you'll need the uh the accessory set for that card. So I've got the the um the VR 004 which is designed for the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 480 so I've got that kit just here and uh, that has all the little fitments that I need to um, to install the cooler on the card so we'll get down to business anyway and uh, I'll show you what's inside get the cooler out and you can see the actual size of it and uh, get your first impression so just looking at that it is absolutely savage Obviously on the uh, underside we, uh, we've got on the base plate Arctic MX4 which is pre-applied so that you're ready to slot that onto your GPU and uh, you don't have to apply any paste. We've got the heat pipes here, the five heat pipes which come out and the, uh, the 84 fins across the heat sink on both sides. So just going by the looks, I mean, it's you've got to anticipate good results from this if looks are to be anything. So inside the packet, we've got a Molex to seven and twelve volt. So this we can, uh, you know, turn down the RPM and uh, control the decibels a bit more. 
then we've got the bracket for that and underneath here we've got some screws and washers and then a leaflet which just gives you some instructions on how to prepare your card for the installation so things that you should get ready for and anticipate okay so we're basically ready to go and what I need to do first of all is take this Zotac card take off the Zalman cooler and uh, then we can obviously pop on the Arctic cooler so this involves me basically removing the screws on the back to uh, to remove the actual cooler and then on this we've got the covering the voltage regulators and the the ram we've got a heat sink that covers the whole lot and uh, there's various screws that I need to remove and get rid of so we'll begin our installation of the cooler and that'll just involve taking off this cooler as I said okay so I've removed the Zalman cooler from the Zotac card really easy just need to remove four of those screws and then that's off obviously once we've done that the uh, the GPU is then exposed and this had quite a lot of thermal compound paste stuck to it and it was set pretty hard so I used a little product here which I'm just going to mention uh, this isn't anything to do with Arctic who do the cooler that we're reviewing today this is a separate company uh, this is Arctic Clean Thermal Material Remover and this is a great little product uh, for removing any thermal compound paste especially if it's set pretty hard uh, you just need a few drops and it basically removes it really quickly really good stuff that and uh, obviously once you've done that there's a little um, purifier which is bundled with that and uh, this just gets the GPU or the base plate on the cooler really uh, nice and shiny ready for applying the new thermal paste okay so we've done that uh, now there's the heat sinks which are placed on the voltage circuitry and the RAM chips so I just removed various screws which are pinpointed uh, on the back of the PCB remove those and uh, then we can remove the heat sink now this is set pretty hard at, the, at first you may need to lever it off but you know be careful because this is a PCB you don't want to do any damage so that's removed and obviously we've got the thermal pads underneath on you know connecting the uh, heat sink to the various components so we've got our card now pretty much naked and uh, we're ready to put that arctic cooler on uh, you know shouldn't take very long to do that and uh, that's what we'll do next okay so I've just finished installing all the heat sinks onto the board and as you can see these cover the RAM chips which surround the GPU and also we've got them covering the uh, voltage regulators on the far side and also at the top on the 480 so to uh, to get those on you really need to make sure that the grease is removed which the previous cooler left but also you need to use an eraser to create a good surface in order for the uh, the adhesive to bond with the heatsink so all that we need to do now is replace the mounting plate and fit the cooler onto our graphics card so the default mounting plate that comes pre-installed on the base plate probably won't line up with the holes on your graphics card certainly with the Nvidia GTX 480 that I'm using I had to use that mounting plate that's provided in the VR004 accessories kit so I've installed that now and all that I need to do is drop the card onto the cooler put the washers on and fit the screws and we're good to go okay guys so there we have it the Arctic Accelero Extreme Plus installed on an NVIDIA GTX 480 amp edition that's by Zotac obviously there we've got an extra inch or two on the end of the default cooler which is the Zalman VF3000 but we've got an extra fan and we've obviously got extra fins there so we're going to anticipate some good results there just bear in mind when you do install this cooler when you do fasten it down uh, the screws on the underside just don't over screw those because 
there is a chance that you could you know put added pressure on the GPU and you could possibly break it so what we'll do now I'll go away and test this against the Zalman cooler uh, thoroughly test it I'll put an article on our website vortez.net and I'll pop that into the pop the link into the description of this video so thanks very much for watching guys as always thanks for your subscription thanks for the support and we'll have some more videos coming soon